interview. And all the charity work you do with children, you're almost too good to be true. Oh. Please. <laughs> Our research shows us that in your role as a single father, you're becoming very popular with women over 30. How do you feel about that? Great. You know, I feel like women really come into their own after the age of 30. They know who they are, they know what they want, and, well, I find that very sexy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> more questions to ask you, and some of these may seem a little bit silly, but it's what our readers are into, so. What's your favorite color? Purple. <gasps> Me too! <laughs> and, uh, do you have any siblings? Yeah, I have seven sisters. Wow, you must really understand women. <laughs> well, is there any chance you'd want to have drinks? I would love that. Why don't I take you out to dinner tomorrow night? Tomorrow night? Are you sure? Yeah, why not? Oh, my God! Everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. What's wrong? I asked this girl out to dinner tonight and I didn't know it was Valentine's Day. Now she's gonna think I want to get all serious with her and start a relationship. Oh, and you don't? <laughs> oh, you're cute. Move in together, get engaged, you don't want that. Oh, really? Why? Because then he might be in a committed relationship. Well, don't say it in that scary voice. <laughs> Well, maybe I'm overreacting. Is there any chance she won't take it that seriously? Well, how old is she? Well, I don't know, 33, 34. Well, which is it? Because at 33, you're still happy being a sexy single woman. At 34, you got a wedding dress in your trunk just in case. Can you believe this still fits me? Ah! I'm so excited about tonight. To us? To the Knicks. You reach a certain age when you realize you have to focus on your personal life. I mean, let's face it, I'm not 34 anymore. Oh, my God. What is my sister doing here with my nephew and my neighbor? Of all the Valentine's Day mix-ups. And I hope they don't see us. Joey, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? What I do every Valentine's Day, taking my son and my lawyer friend out to a crowded restaurant where I have not made a reservation. <laughs> Hey, Michael, why don't you squeeze right in here between us? <laughs> this is Judy. Hi, Miss Valentine. Oh, stop. Stop. <laughs> oh, God. $35 for lobster risotto in a heart-shaped mold? This holiday is so stupid. Alex, you're kind of ruining the mood there. <laughs> Can you excuse me a second? I'm going to use the restroom. Can we talk over here for a second? Sure. Come on, everyone. Let's go talk to Judy. <laughs> Joey, I'm not an idiot. I know why they're here. You do? You wanted me to meet your family. I can't believe how fast this is moving, but it feels so right. <laughs> I'm out on Valentine's Day with a great guy. I'm being welcomed into a family. I mean, if this was a first date for most guys, they'd be freaking out. <laughs> Have a child that age. You look amazing. How old are you? 36. I'm older than you, and you have an adult son? <laughs> older? Yes, older. I admire you, but I'm not interested in having kids. As long as I have my career and someone special, that's all I care about. I remember when I used to think like that. Then you turn 15, everything changes. <laughs> Cynthia, no, I'm not at home. You won't believe what happened. Cynthia's gonna be a fat bridesmaid at my wedding. She said she doesn't want kids. Just tell her how important they are to you. That's a great idea. Children are very important to me, and I, I was kind of shocked when I heard you say you didn't want any. I'm sorry, that's just how I feel. Oh, how many women have I lost because of my desire to have children? <laughs> I'm surprised you feel that strongly about this. Oh. I can't believe this is happening. I know. You've talked me into having children. <laughs> it's so nice of you to come with me to get my hair dyed. <laughs> Are you kidding? Three hours in a hair salon? Fun. Well, if I didn't do it, I'd be completely gray. <laughs> Attention. I've been a bad little kitty. Oh, hey! I've been meaning to ask you something.
something, and my parents are throwing this big party for my little sister's 40th birthday. <laughs> and if you could come, it would mean the world to me. I'm gonna call my parents and tell them you're coming. I wanna make sure you get the upper bunk in my brother's room. The party's an overnight thing? Well, of course, silly. We're not gonna go to Canada for one day. Canada? When I can't do that. I... You don't wanna meet my family. My passport is, is, is gone. Yeah, this bird came in and whoosh, and I was like, huh? You don't think I can tell when you're lying? Jojo Dancer, it's me, Choo Choo Bean. <laughs> I've never heard either of those nicknames before. <laughs> Look, um, we should slow things down. What? I'm sorry. I, it's just... I can't believe this is happening. I feel like I don't know you. you. You're not the nice guy that I thought you were. Juju Bean. <laughs> I hate you, John Tribbiani. No, 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 don't go, don't go. Don't go, don't go. Maybe there's something I could do to make this okay. <laughs> oh, Joey, my whole family loves you. <laughs>